If a picture is worth a thousand words, then I think a video should be worth a few thousand, right? So in this video, I hope to demonstrate that principle. You're looking at uh, a lot of fuel injectors on this bench, and you're probably thinking, well, Kent, why do you have so many fuel injectors sitting there? And they came out of old Mercedes diesels. I recently acquired these. There are 55, that's correct, 55 fuel injectors. And when these came in, we decided to put them to the test. Because I know a lot of diesel owners don't pay a lot of attention to their fuel injectors. It seems like they just go and go and go. I know I've heard some people say, well, I've had my fuel injectors in my engine for 250,000 miles. The engine still runs. Well, how, how well is it running? And what about the fuel economy? What about the smoking? Maybe there's smoking issues that you don't see, but the people driving behind you do. So I thought it'd be really fun to just take all 55 of these fuel injectors and put them on my pressure tester that you see right here. This is a hand pump pressure tester and it will measure when the injector fires as well as it will allow you to visually see the pattern of the spray. And you know they should spray, they shouldn't squirt and they shouldn't leak and they need to release at the proper time. If they don't, that's going to affect the timing, the firing timing of the engine, and it will definitely perfect power output. Does anybody want to guess? Anybody out there just want to guess how many of these 55 fuel injectors actually tested okay? That means they tested within the right pressure release points, and they sprayed in a nice fan pattern. Well, guess what? There were five, that's right. These five over here were the only injectors that tested okay. And I know what's going on here. These cars are getting extremely old now. And like I said earlier, your engine will run. Even if the inje these diesels are amazing pieces of equipment. And even if the injector is just squirting. Now take a look at this one that we tested. It's just spraying like a squirt gun. Well, it's going to get enough fuel in there that the engine's going to fire and run. It may not run real smooth at idle, and it may burn more fuel than needed, but it's running, so why bother mess with the injectors? Now, in comparison to that one, take a look at this one here. This is how they should look. They should actually chatter a little bit, and they should spray a nice fan pattern with mist. Notice the mist here. If it's not picking up any mist, it probably means that the the injector is firing too much fuel and once again that's going to affect power output as well as fuel economy. So I hope this demonstrates something that I'm really trying to say here. Do not ignore your fuel injectors. You, you cannot, like look at these, look at these right here. You pull these out of an engine and there's literally no appreciable wear on the faces of the tips. And you would look at these visually and say, these injectors are fine. I'm gonna put them right back in my engine. Well, these, these failed terribly. They weren't even, they were squirting off to one side and they weren't even releasing at the proper pressure. Of course, there are going to be injectors like this one here that the face of the nozzle is badly worn. What causes that is the nozzle tip leaks fuel and the fuel puddles around the tip and that causes burning and eventually it'll burn right into the metal. When you see an injector like this, you don't even want to bother testing it. You just need to replace the nozzle. So that's, that's amazing. I mean, that was even a surprise to me. I kind of figured that maybe we would find at least 10 good ones. Now there's no other way. I have not found any other way to test the quality of your fuel injector short of doing it with a bench mount you know pressure tester now you can take these and send them into Bosch and have them tested and a lot of times the cost of testing them is almost as much as buying just rebuilt injectors so I know a lot of people have just done that in the past I would highly encourage you particularly if you're really into these older Mercedes diesels and this works with uh, Volkswagen diesels Toyota Isuzu uh, Chevy all those old uh, diesel engines use the mechanical Bosch fuel injectors. This pressure tester that we build in our shop will work to test those as well. So you might say, well, I don't, 
I don't want to spend that money. I'm kind of proud to, to say that we offer the least expensive pressure tester that is available on the market today. And if, if, you're, if you're testing your injectors, then you're going to get better performance, you're going to get better fuel economy, and you're going to get less smoke. And you know, you might think, well, what else can I do with this other than just test them? Well, if they don't test right, sometimes you can clean them. We offer a cleaning kit, but a lot of times it's just better to replace those old Bosch nozzles with the high performance Monarch nozzles built in Germany. These nozzles are a little bit different design. They offer finer mist pattern and all the engines that I've converted, I found that not only do the Monarch nozzles run smoother, the fuel economy is better and the out power output put curve is smoother. So I'm really impressed with those as well. We can, we can give you uh, complete kits with a tester, with new nozzles, and all the parts, instructions. It's not difficult to do this yourself. You may think, well, that seems like that's going to be really a lot of work. Well, it is time consuming. That's why it's expensive to have a shop do it. But if you're willing to, you know, get the pressure tester, you know, hook up your injectors, you just put them up to the, the you, you fill this up with diesel fuel and you pump away and you can watch the spray pattern, you can see the release pressure on the gauge and you'll know for sure that your injectors are working okay on your older Mercedes diesel. There's something else I should also mention. If you're running waste cooking oil or straight vegetable oil, having a pressure tester and monitoring your injectors are extremely important. This one right away I could tell from looking at the threads that this engine was running vegetable oil and look at what look at what's going on down inside here. Look at the amount of crud that has built up inside right there. Can you imagine what it looks like down inside here? So uh, contrary to what you may have heard, people think that they can heat this vegetable oil up and get it so hot that it won't, it won't uh, cause gumming and coking. Well, that's not true. Uh, there's glycerin in there and that glycerin is going to cause problems. You will need to regularly remove and clean your injectors if you're running a straight vegetable oil and expect to get top performance. If you have an older, rough running Mercedes diesel, maybe it starts up in the morning and it runs rough and then it smooths out and then you'll come up to a stoplight and then it'll run rough and it kind of comes and goes. It's really hard to know whether it's fuel injectors or something else. Of course, you have to eliminate, you have to eliminate the fact that, you know, ha, ha, it does the engine have good compression? You need to do a valve adjustment first, do a compression test. You check, uh, you know, your internal engine timing and make sure your timing chain has not stretched. And if those things are okay, then you're faced with the challenge of, well, what's going on here? Is this, is this a fuel pump? lift pump issue? Is it a delivery valve or an injection pump issue? Is it my fuel injectors? And, and I tell you firsthand, it can be difficult sometimes to isolate that type of a problem. So for the longest time, I've kind of had this fantasy that I want to develop this little piece of equipment that I can hook up to the engine. And while the diesel engine is running, I can actually monitor the release pressure and kind of get an idea whether the injection pump is working okay or whether the injectors are not working okay. And, and we are currently working on this. I, I can't guarantee you that we'll ever succeed, but this is something I really want to do. I really want to come up with something that, you know, the average DIY mechanic can just hook up to their engine and, and do a complete analysis of their injection pump or and or their fuel injectors. So stay tuned. If I'm successful, you'll see a future video. If I'm not, there'll be no future videos.